Hello and welcome to another Gundam Battle Operation 2 video. That is the good old white dingo. And uh, we have a special match. We did a custom match. I joined in a little bit late with my uh, friends. Uh, and we did uh, two two pretty great meme matches. <laughs> I guess, you know, I guess technically the first one was a meme match. Uh, well, technically this one counts as a meme match. But really, it works out pretty well. Uh, first match was definitely a meme match, and I have that one posted soon. Uh, but this one was the, uh, this one worked pretty alright. As you can see, we're all, uh, either white dingoes or GM sniper twos. And, uh, yeah, we have a white dingo squad going on. And, uh, let me say, the white dingo, people sleep on that suit. That suit, it's really good. It has a weapon for every situation, for every map. Want a sniper? There's your sniper. You want a machine gun? Got a machine gun. It's got a, it's got the ground type beam rifle. If you like that beam rifle instead of the the, the sniper beam rifle it has, and uh, you want a rocket launcher, you can buy the rocket launcher for it from at the in the DP store. Now you got a rocket launcher, and so we ran this with uh, Honey, I believe, went with the uh, uh, rocket launcher, and uh, Gen Gen Gendry went with the ground type beam rifle I think and I went with the large beam rifle and then Stefan and number five who went uh support with the GM sniper two. Uh should have should have had one of them be the uh the machine gun uh support <laughs> but uh, yeah I got I got singled out and killed pretty quick. Uh the legs are pretty weak on the suit but yeah it has uh, pretty decent resistances and of course it has that weapon for every situation it's also got a dodge roll and a uh, combo controller too, so it's a it's a pretty good suit. It holds up really well, and uh, we did a whole squad of them. We have one for every situation, pretty much, and uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. We haven't got a kill, and I'm the only one that that got that got killed. But you know, we'll see what what we can do here. We we, we ran up to see. As a squad, and now I'm gonna try and snipe since I have a sniper. Uh, there's a, I believe it's a light armor G line light, I wanna say. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> I can't, I couldn't see it's a, oh, okay, it's another general, so we know that. And he's gonna get stunned repeatedly now. He's gonna avoid, uh, avoid my slash of the dodge roll. He's gonna get countered though by Stefan, and we're gonna finish him off. Uh, yeah, don't roll up on, uh, <laughs> On a support type and another general, in a two v one. When you're the uh, the general, it's uh, not going to work out well for you. That guy got pretty uh, pretty gotten. <laughs> he got got, and that guy's going to jump down to avoid it, to avoid everything. So we're going to come down there. Not really come down there. We're going to shoot down there at him. Uh, Honey went down there by himself. So we're going to see if we can provide some backup because we uh we got to protect the squad. You know. That is the full custom uh, G-Line. Gonna snipe him a bit, which that was a lot of damage. Now here comes the enemy team spawning in again. We did pretty good, 3,000 to 500 points. Uh, we pretty, I think we wiped him, and there's a full armor. We're gonna shoot in between my teammates real quick, get a nice 3,000 damage. That's full armor Gundam ground type, so yeah, that's gonna do 3,000 damage. If that was a support type and I did that much damage, that's fucking insane. But it wasn't. <laughs> Just gonna sit here and snipe now, cause I, I got I gotta do my job now as a sniper. Uh, you can use this uh, suit at close range, and it works pretty well since it stuns every time. You just have to be careful. Uh, GM three is just gonna sit there. I cannot really. No, I'm not gonna spend my time trying to shoot at him. He keeps jumping up and down. But you know what's the point? Trying to aim at that guy when there's a whole fight going on over here. You know, toss some grenades, get some uh, chip damage in. Guy's gonna fall down, hit his shield. That probably stunned him. Yeah, he's down on the ground. Shoot at these guys, and then uh, we're gonna kill this full armor. And I have to go down and help uh, Gendry. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, all I know is he's part of our friend group too. So. <laughs> And uh, we're we're gonna eventually get sworn, but we're gonna fight back at least a little bit. 
uh, <laughs> ran right into my dying teammate. Got a slice off, but there's nothing else I can do here. I'm going to have to die. And then I uh, came up with a plan. We were all going to spawn in at A, and I was going to go try and plant the bomb while they're distracted. We got to do actual squad tactics here. Have the squad in the front line. I, I infiltrate in the back lines, and I'll come up behind them and start shooting them after I plant the bomb. I'm not going to stay there. I'm hopefully... I was thinking they were going to come back. And uh, Honey, I believe, is going to steal a suit. So, <laughs> yeah, he took out enemy infantry, so he just stole a GM3. It's pretty low, but, you know, if you can steal yourself a suit, steal yourself a suit. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. we're going to start the mission right now. Little little sneaky, sneaky action. The secret mission behind enemy lines. They're going to do a great job of uh, keeping the team distracted. Because I believe they stay there the entire time. And uh, yeah, get a good view of uh, Port Base. See all the uh, the wonderful views of uh, like that crane and some shipping containers. And uh, probably going to be on the next episode of Container Wars. Uh, a lot of gunpla stored there. Only worth about $10 when you try to resell them. <laughs> to stay a little bit safe because uh i want to make sure that if these people that we've we fought were playing smart earlier in some earlier matches we were doing so i wanted to just to have my suit in the back so nobody can see it when they spawn in and i'm just going to plant the bomb and i'm going to get the fuck out of there uh hopefully if i can make my way there there we are gonna do a little bit of tic-tac-toe to plant the bomb and uh almost lost the computer there Fucking tic-tac-toe CPU. Um, yep, bomb's planted. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, okay, so their dude they killed spawned in at the sea, so I think we're doing pretty fine. It's at the last, uh, almost the last minute, so... And we're winning, too, so this is going to be uh, an insurance that we're going to win. And then I'm going to spend this, the rest of this match just coming up behind them in this last minute. And see if we can... Uh, distract them both ways <laughs> eliminate them and uh, sandwich them pretty much go ahead and uh, burn up my meter so I can get it down faster yep we already can see them are straight ahead gonna prepare for a little bit of uh, sniping there's a GM3 shoot him a little bit 2000 damage with a regular uncharged shot that's pretty damn good and uh, Stefan Finished him off. Oh no, Honey finished him off. Cause Ste I remember Stefan saying, "Good shot, Dongo," but uh, Honey was there too. Now we got these two chuckle fox left. Couldn't hit through Honey. And, oh my God, that was a bad skip. But the guy tried to melee me. Uh, I didn't get the counter off. Full armor Gundam's down. Gonna downswing him. Shoot him. Almost killed him, but you know, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, White Dingo Squad worked pretty well. And the uh, we go, yeah, mission complete. You can see all the different weapons we have on our on ourselves besides the snipers. And uh, oh yeah, the snipers did a lot of a lot of good work there, a lot of good damage. And uh, honey got shot at a lot. <laughs> I got fifth place with uh, one kill, two deaths. But you know, I planted a bomb, made sure we won, and uh, you know, applied some pressure on some enemies. Got a few. I think I got a few assists, or at least I damaged people enough. But, uh, yeah, the White Dingo squad is pretty good. The White Dingo itself is uh, the GM Sniper to White Dingo. I mean, the original White Dingo GM's all right. But, uh, yeah, the GM Sniper 2 White Dingo is a really good suit. It's uh, it's really handy. You can pretty much use it on any map as long as you got the right weapon for it. And, you know, like long-range maps, well, you got that sniping, uh, that sniper rifle, uh, the Beam 1. If it's going to be like a mid-range or something, well, you got a beam rifle and a uh, machine gun. Close range, well, if you want to use a rocket, there's a rocket, and you can use your melee combo controller, too. So, yeah, it fits a, fits a variety of roles, and it's got enough resistance on it that you can survive uh, a good amount of damage. And, uh, yeah, when you have a whole team of that, it, it works pretty well. And uh, hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. 
And, uh, you know, type up in the uh, the comment section what you feel about the the GM2 White Dingo. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Did you forget it's in the game? Because uh, a lot of people do. <laughs> it's, uh... Sometimes I forget the suit exists, even though I know I like the White Dingo. It's one of my favorite suits to play in the game, because I know I had it for my 100 subscriber special. But, uh, it's just... I love it. I love it a lot. And, uh, yeah... That'll be in the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.